Sam, uh, I'm at the Polytechnic University campus, which is in Kowloon, and it's one of four uh, university campuses that are currently being occupied by protesters. Uh, this one has been, uh, they've been here since Tuesday. Um, there have been moments where they've battled with police with tear gas, but they've pretty much got the university to themselves now. They've barricaded it on three to four sides. They've also even managed to shut down the Cross Harbour Tunnel crossing, which is right next door to the university. And it is one of the three ways that uh, uh, Hong Kongers can pass from the Kowloon Peninsula to Hong Kong Island. This week, they had four... Uh, previously, it had more or less been confined to the weekends, apart from one or two... Uh, isolated local protests during uh, during weeknights. Now, we came here this time, it was actually uh, Monday morning was obviously when the first uh, uh, the first action happened. That was where we saw the shooting of a, a young person in the more or less in the rush hour. Ever since, they have decided to go out and get uh, shut down traffic as much as possible and they seem to actually be managing to do it. Whether it's going to eventually tire the patience of Hong Kongers is another thing. This is probably something that the government is, is gambling on because they know that it's been very, very hard so far to alienate the protesters from the public and uh, they're probably hoping that this, this time might actually do it.